actual birth. Yeah, so this um, part of this fix actually came from someone else um, on the forum, I think. So it's Skyper or something like that. Sipka? <laughs> no. Uh, culture code, culture, LCID. Yeah, so hyphen, hyphen seems to work. And for some reason... They oh, don't. yes. I, I get it, okay. Don't you want to camel case that? Um, That's fine, yeah. I assume. Localization tokens to localization module. Yeah, so this enables the um, the use case that if you want to say, actually, I don't remember what this is. Yeah, so if you want to say content dot culture dot name, uh, so this is like this allows you to add the culture of the content to the auto route part uh, to the auto route settings. And this could be I just added to uh, name and two-letter ISO language name into here. So it allows you to do EN hyphen US or just EN, essentially. EN being the two-letter ISO language name. And the descriptions are from MSDN. I'm still wondering whether maybe we should base that off of I localization aspect and push it into the framework. Um, but works for now. Yeah, so this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I won't explain everything. <clears throat> okay. So you worked a lot on localization this week. What do um, you do? You have a new, a new website to do and you found bugs? Uh, no, actually, funny enough, I was coming across a couple of these things whilst, whilst I was working on Brochard. So, um, small path to removing any cycle trees in rubber. Okay, adding import export to side culture. Interesting. So, I'm sure you're not breaking anything there. No, well, Zoltan said this might. This uh, this might be breaking, but I didn't yes. think it was because I was calling the base method um, afterwards. Okay. And I, and when I tested it, I'm pretty sure it worked. So. Okay, that's fine then. This was, I think, is a concern. Yeah, but that's why I didn't think it was breaking. I would have done the deposit called base first and then and ends that. Yeah, I can revert it. I uh, reverse it. Yeah. Um, so, are you sure that um, <clears throat> that uh, size settings export and import correctly works still from Ocean recipes? Because there's nothing actually in the in the base methods. Well, I can give it another test, but I'm pretty sure it well, works. Yeah, for size settings, we there is a remember this other driver or code which goes through size settings properties. Yeah, but it calls importing and exporting after it calls it still calls the importing and exporting on handlers. Okay, so that's fine. So you don't need to call base then. Yeah, well that's kind. Of, well, I left it in there just in case. But um, and yeah. just, just to test, take a website and export it to see the uh, export if it contains all the other properties of the site settings. Uh, yeah. Site settings uh, import works. We use that a lot. The only thing that didn't work was culture. So it's good that that's fixed. Yay. The question was more after this code, ensure the rest still works. Oh, okay. The question was whether it worked before. Um, hey man, that XML doc is broken. Refactoring, autofocus, blah, blah, boom, lots of stuff. Layout editor. Oh, it's another branch now again. No, no, this is, uh, has been merged in. Oh, 
Okay. Well, uh, this was the last. Uh, that's the last one that was on that branch. After that, we merged it. Oh yeah. So why don't I see that? You see it. It was the next one. The next one up. Why is this this <laughs> connected? Yeah, it's a head. Yeah, and the the next one up is the merge. But why is the branch yeah, not? Hello? Yes, it's not connected. No. Is it a bug? Maybe in Git extension? No. We so we squashed it and we merged it and then we deleted the the branch. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying laughing. Oh my god, it was so funny. Why? That was one of my buddies. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian, what's happening? <laughs> what did we miss? No. <laughs> He's on the fire. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my god, I was laughing so hard. <laughs> uh, maybe he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're talking to someone else. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't talking to us, I think. And he, st he stepped on the move button. Okay. Merged feature. Okay. Maybe that's a bug then. Or maybe you screwed completely the merge. No, I don't think so. Uh, so uh, isn't this what happens if you squash and then merge and then you delete the, the branch? Is this what you did? Yeah. yeah. So then it's not a merge, it's one commit called implementing yeah. layout editor. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yep. So yeah, this okay. branch is dead. Dead, so you can kill it. Yeah, we did. I thought we, I thought we did. Yeah, we removed it, but it's still in here in the history for some reason. Or maybe did you, you didn't delete it, it on your local. We did yes, it locally and, not, and remote, and you need to fetch. Let me show you something. So are you sure I can delete the branch? Yeah. I can delete sure. that. Well, you have a backup, okay? But otherwise, you do that. Git push origin dash dash origin origin dash dash delete. Oh man, I'm bad. Uh, at but now you're on one hex. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Um, feature slash layout editor. Yeah. Boom. See, remote doesn't exist. Okay, so it's deleted. Good. Merge feature reader, blah, blah, blah. Okay, adding index in taxonomy is as it's frequently queried. Okay. That's bad. Boo! Yes, there is a four missing there. A what? Uh, that should return four. Correct. So disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Had it been yeah, seen, I, mean, I would have plan. understood, but... <sighs> Origin <laughs> issue. So someone now is creating branches for... That's fine. Hey Sebastian, uh, <clears throat> your sound is or your connection it's stuttering. Is that just yeah. me or okay. no it's me too. I, I hear you fine, so I think it's Sebastian's audio. Or me too. Yeah, same. Okay, maybe, maybe you should reconnect. Maybe you should stop and go there. Uh, yeah, it could be that. <laughs> sounds really funny. I don't know what you're saying, but it sounds awesome. I think you asked me whether I was recording, and the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like hungerish actually. Like seven consonants in a row. Let's see if the CPU goes down. Goes back. 
No. Same issue. I'm back. Is this sound better? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, differing taxonomy. So uh, my question to Zoltan was, are you using the same pattern as in blog posts? Okay, I mean, yeah. Your sound is starting to get really bad again, but yes, it's the same practice. Thank you. Can you share your screen again, Sebastian? I'm doing that. It's already sharing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I need to and, thing again. Uh -huh. and by the way, uh, we have a client who uses that, and it indeed um, solves the issue. Not completely. So, uh, there is still a, a possibility to uh, have a deadlock uh, with the same query, but it's much, much slower now. Uh, much, much uh, <laughs> smaller now. Okay. So, next uh, orchard version, we use the file system. Like in another CMS, I won't mention in this meeting. Uh, yeah, actually, the uh, the real solution would be something like that, or at least using something not SQL Server. What? Or maybe using the, this beautiful technique. I well, we should try that. Uh, what is this thing? No way. <laughs> Yeah, this is the uh, what we discussed before. This was this is a work item. <clears throat> it's about the what is it? Oh, the helpers. Helpers. Okay. Yeah, so and suggest some uh, improvements. So yeah, this is not What's nice, but this is. Mm, this is but this object. is the better. You should read the comments from Zoltan. It's uh, it makes sense. Why get object? <laughs> if I write another comment and the total, the, the total opposite of what Zoltan writes, you will say makes sense too. Okay. So well, what's the try. point of saying? I don't know if that's true, but you can What try. is get object? <laughs> now you won't, because now we said so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the solution, Sebastian. <laughs> the solution well, is to call it get object? Oh, yeah, to do not yeah. break people? Yeah. yeah. And People are using the extensions typically, and, and the extensions is already using get, and there's a conflict in types. I, we explain this on the uh, on the thread. So this, it's, it's not perfect, but it's the best we can think of at this point, unless you have a better solution. But So it was called get before? Yeah. And now users using this code, they still use get, so we are not breaking things, I think. Okay. And who will use good get object? No one will typically use this, except for the maybe the guessing extension. So, I so why do we need get object? Because that's the actual implementation. The guessing its extensions they make the usage of this API nicer because of the strongly typed helpers. Okay, and this one can be overwritten, well extended, replaced. Okay, okay. I'll try Sipke Nazoltan. Um, revert, removing an indeed and wrong safe mode document template. So, okay, why, why, what yeah, does so this? Yeah, so Sultan made a change here. He, re he removed the document template because it seemed to be ex an exact copy from the uh, core module or core mm -hmm. shapes or something like that. <clears throat> but it actually broke the uh, setup page. So I referred to his commit and then Sultan um, uh, referred to my referred <laughs> but but with an improvement, so he fixed it. So okay. it's actually up there, remove an unneeded and wrong safe mode document template and adding simple document template to watch okay. Good, so this is a correct merge and you can then delete the caching. Yeah, there's a fetch command to also delete all the local, de yeah, I don't do that, okay. Okay, and then I see maybe someone did some pull requests. Um, remove all in media library. Okay, we did good to go last week. Removing and needed all wrong, whatever, blah, blah, blah. 
in the setup it's added. Yeah, so uh, there was an implicit dependency between the setup module and uh, the safe mode theme. Uh, because when there's no theme, the, the safe mode theme is running. So on the sa on the setup yeah. screen, you actually uh, have seen the safe mode theme. Now there is um, this document template directly added to the setup. So it's it's just for a setup. Before that, it wasn't this the case. Yeah, this is actually my first pull request that I merged in together with uh, Antoine. He was kind enough to walk me through the um, pull, uh, accepting pull requests. Niklas, you're impressing me. But an yeah. addition. <coughs> Make it smaller. Yep. Interesting. I think Otter will be faster now. There's actually a few places, but yeah. <laughs> so now the issue that um, with the layout editor being in Wondertex, all the crap will be on Wondertex. And to help that. Or I could, you know, create another branch. That's fine. Oh my god, people thought that Orchard was over-engineered. They will have an art attack if they look at the module. It's nice because now the layout editor is a reusable shape. You don't and this rely is on nice the layout part. But Daniel knows about it. I forwarded the issue. It's breaking the build on the CI. It's nice, but your new job description within Microsoft, where you kind of forward build failures to people, must be a, must be a comfortable existence. What? You told me that was your new job. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm not sure. Um, yes, I need to ask them to update TypeScript. Yeah, do you know how to get in touch with them? I can ask them. Or maybe you have Twi a better... Twitter. I'm using Twitter. They have oh. a good, better thing, and I'm using Twitter. Oh. Will you talk to them? Uh, if, I forget, if I don't forget about it, yes. Okay. This looks broken. No, oh, this is a fix. This works. Just for pluses. That's it. Just pluses. Under what? Just yeah, for because, pluses. Yeah, because decode URI components. I looked it up on on the internet, and they say the same thing. That, that that's what you need to do if you don't want the um, because spaces are being um, changed into pluses, and I want a space. <laughs> It works. It's been well tested. I checked uh, it. I, 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 right. can't. Mm. I couldn't figure any other. It's just the decode URI component behaves that way. So. Oh, this is a fix I did for uh, the weblogs ASP.NET. You know how we do look for P's to to tags that we must P tags to look for the summary and the count items, count words. What if you have an uppercase P? It was not supported, so I made it only in your case. And what if your P tag contains classes? It was not supported either. So it was breaking Scott's blog. So I fixed it in my branch. Maybe we want that in the in Orchard directly. But it was complexifying the the body summary. So I don't know. Maybe someone can open a bug, at least to track it. 
seems like you fixed this in your your theme. Where should it be fixed in in Orchard in the, the theme machine? In, in the main uh, uh, where the parts command body is defined. So oh. in the body module and maybe also in the in every theme which overrides that. Uh, or make it this, make this view extensible so we can have a property or in the shape that contains the summary. I don't know, but it should be in the theme, yeah. Once I build a uh, summary part, something with with a nice way yeah. of generating that people, that people can uh, configure from the admin. Yeah, yeah. And and JSON also. JSON. So this one, not file deployment option to deployment in the screen. So deployment feature. I see files, so apparently we can add files now. Fix subscription file, download, and you can even download fi a subscription file. I don't know what it is, but you can download it. One day we'll get a demo. And this one, version required version number. Ooh. Is that right? Well, I okay, it's, it. ca it's called version number, so I assume version number. Yeah, if you look at maybe four, la four or five lines above, it's using, it, it looks like it's almost um, a copy and paste and the method was just renamed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that and improve layout pop up keyboard handling. Okay, good. Chess maps everywhere. Beautiful. Four fours, I'm telling you. Ah, oh, does anyone get these when they rebuild? I can't tell you anymore. So, Nick, you uh, maybe to restart. <laughs> I hear you, Nick. Do you oh, get the map yet? In your face, Sebastian. But, um, uh, Daniel, do you get those when you rebuild? Like if I do Control Shift B, it, those seem to come back. No, the, 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 the thing the thing with this commit, the last one I did was it was the first time I rebuilt after updating to TypeScript 1.4, and then it went and removed like the last blank line of every file that it emitted. That's the source ah, okay. of all of those changes. So, but but yeah, the the map files. Um, no, I'm not getting any more. Not since updating to the latest. Uh, it was only yesterday, so I'll do a pull and see if it happens again today. And you should make sure you run the, the last version of uh, Web Essentials. Uh, yeah, that's the one I have. So that's probably the reason why. OK, that's cool. OK. Thanks. OK, so now demos. What are some demo to do? I have a demo. demo. About what? Uh, it's about a new module that uh, Daniel now built. It's an <laughs> ideal <ideological> module. <laughs> Okay, let's start with a cool demo. Um, Bertrand. That I... <laughs> that it is cool. <laughs> Bastard. So, Bertrand, can you share your screen? We want to see this in CMS. Because Orchard has a, a little brother, or a little sister, or a little dog. Okay, a puppy. Orchard got a puppy. It's called Listen CMS. We want to see that. Where is Bertrand? Is he talking? Uh, you need to scroll down. The um, On your right-hand side, scroll uh, down. Yeah, I wasn't really prepared for that. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't have it installed on that machine. That's the problem. That's fine. There, is that, there are two websites online with that. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. How do I share my screen here? Okay. <coughs> I don't have a button here. Share. Now it wants me to sign up. Okay, while you sign up, we'll start with the crappy demo. So, Sipke, can you share? Do you need to invite me to share, or do I need? To, I don't see. Uh, I think you have to click something. I don't know. I don't see it. Last time you gave me the presenter role. 
I don't have a lot of options here. Yeah, social info for SIP, he has no social life, so no social info. How, how do you make people share? Share, share a file, I don't care. Sebastian, you are sharing your screen. And I want someone else to share the screen. I, I do see a, a button called share, and when I click it, I need to sign up for Uber Conference. Okay, same thing for uh, Bertrand. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It, yeah, it, it wanted me to create my own meeting. So you can go, Bertrand. Okay, so Bertrand is sharing, uh, and then if you go in the meantime, you can uh, create an account. It's grayed out. Can you stop sharing? Are you still sharing your screen? You are sharing your screen. Stop. Oh, yeah, share. Okay. Screen sharing control. So you are sharing now. Uh, I hope. Tell me when you can see it. What are you showing? Just the. Uh... A browser, an empty browser. Okay. So I don't. Uh, uh, maybe I. I don't, I don't see anything either. Something should pop up in the bottom toolbar there, right? Oh, there we go. I see it now. Okay. Um. Yeah. So it's a little project I've been working on for the past four months or so. Um. It's uh, it's not doing much at the moment. It doesn't have a dashboard or anything, but it has a runtime that actually works. <coughs> this is this is the website for the for the project. And, and uh, why don't I have? Oh, yeah, my screen. The resolution of my screen is too low. You can see the table of contents, but um, I have some documentation in there. Uh, all the documentation is generated from uh, markdown documents that are inside of the project or from JS docs on the code. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a node CMS, so it's it's built on Node and it pretty much follows the design principle of Archer, but transposed into the dynamic world of, of Node. Um, it's been a lot of fun to build. Uh, well, I'm saying it's been. I'm still working on it, obviously. There's still a lot of work to do. Um, it's open source. I'm taking contributions. I don't want to take too much time on the Archer meeting to advertise my own pet project, but here it is. If you want to check it out, you're welcome to do so. Any questions? I don't even see the screen. I don't see you in my list, even when I click on the list of the viewers. I, I see a virtual screen. OK. Thank you, Bertrand. We don't wish you, we don't wish you good luck. Bertrand, one, one question. Okay. Does it use the layout editor? No. Uh, it will. Ah, awesome. I will steal that from our child. <laughs> <laughs> there is a problem with sharing your screen. Oh, oh, it looks like we are having problem sharing your screen. It looks like you didn't have any problem taking my 10 bucks. Sharing the screen. Oh, oh, I will restart a bird conference. I'll be back in 10 seconds. Oh, I don't need to share my screen later. So, Sipke, oh, no, no, I want to see that. Oh, my I God, Sipke, what are, what are you doing? Yeah, Sipke, <laughs> minimize that screen, dude. <laughs> that is so psychedelic. Wasn't that um, awesome? That like was, it. oh, blew my mind. Um, so. OK, so before I show the demo, I, there's some cool news that I have. Um, we're working for uh, the Dutch government or as on a project for the Ministry of, what are they called? Uh, Ministry of Health, Welfare, and Sport. And they are uh, migrating all of their websites from Tridion CMS to Orchard. And they really like it. And, um, and they are, today they, they saw the, the layout editor for the first time. Uh, and they want to use it for their homepage for this thing called CIBG. That's the, that's a, um, it's a, it's a, it's a company that is associated with this 
Ministry of Health, Welfare, and Sport. It's not a company. It's I don't know the English term for that organization, um, but they are part of that ministry. And and I thought I'd show you guys how cool it is. So this is this is this is an early draft of their new homepage, and it's you it's it's powered by the layout module. And, and what I did for them, I implemented a uh, custom element called parallax image, and uh, that causes this effect where the background is fixed, which of course it's simple CSS, but it's nice to be able to do this using the layout. So I thought I'd show you quickly before the real demo. Wait, I wait, think it's wait, 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 for... wait, 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 I want to see it. Can you do it again? I just got the screen share. Oh, sure, yeah. So okay, this, this, is, this, is, this is an early draft of their homepage. And this, mm -hmm. this entire section starting from below this menu is layout uh, uh, driven. And, and basically how this is composed, this is a grid element, uh, and then comes a parallax image element. Which, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a copy actually of the image element, but it has some custom rendering where it renders the image selected uh, image as a CSS background, and then it's uh, fixed, which causes this cool effect. And the back end looks like this. So here we have the layout editor. This is just a grid so that it has a fixed width. And then this parallax image <clears throat> takes up the full width and it's responsive. So I figured that, uh, and I think it's exciting for Orchard itself that the, uh, that the Dutch government uh, ministry is, is actually using and they're, they're going to promote Orchard internally as well. So. I think that's exciting, and I wanted to share that with you. Um, so that's a government website. Okay, they have nice images. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, these are sample images. <laughs> um, so, questions about that? Anyone? That's that's the module. No, uh, actually, yeah, I wrote a module for them that exposes this parallax image uh, element, which is really. It enables you to specify a height in image. And then uh, the nice thing about this element is that it you don't have to do any custom CSS cl uh, classes here. You just save. And now when you go to the front end, it has this sort of parallax effect. Uh, Are and they going to allow this to be open source? Come again? Are they going to allow this to be open source? Yeah, they're very open. If 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 I ask them, then they it, they would say yeah. Ask, absolutely. You know, ask, they just put it open source. Boom, nobody knows. <laughs> well, they're very open. They are very willing to contribute. They really like the uh, open source. Uh, but it's it's very simple. But I'm thinking even of blogging about how to create a custom element in this because this is a nice example because it's simple, uh, but it also shows the API of the elements system and the layout editor and all that. So yeah. Um, but that wasn't the real demo. The real demo starts now. So this, is, this is this is who's making that noise? Me. I was. I needed a power code. Oh, okay. Well, you're allowed. So, so what uh, Daniel and I did, we, we started a new module. It's, uh, it's called iDeliverable.slides. And in it, it's, <laughs> it's powered by, by the layouts module in Orchard. And what's cool is it's, um, well, the fact that- I mute, I mute myself, sorry, I can, I can laugh in my, my- So, so the cool thing is every slide is a layout, so you, you get the freedom. It, it's like uh, one sub slideshow. So it's actually inspired by one sub slideshows which uses the layout uh, feature of one-stop layouts. No, let me stop you, sorry. Sure. How come can you deliver a module like the layout module and then ship a slide module? You need to step up every time. <laughs> you, th you think this is not a, a step up? No, well, comp <laughs> but I was expecting, like, you know what? Oh, we have a little module to show you. I was like, okay, they, what will they invent again? And, no, and dude. Slides. It's nice. This is good but, for, you know, the layout feature was a lot of work, and now we need some fun. 
with the layout. Okay. Okay. So that's why we built it. That's, that's good. It looks good. It slides well. <laughs> and but the cool thing, it's the way you manage slides because everyone can build a slideshow thing on the front end. That's easy. Are you trying but, uh, to to take over one stops module? Because okay. the layout now the slides. What will they do now? Maybe maybe you should hear him out, Sebastian. So. So the, what, what we think is nice about this thing is, is the way you manage slides. So for example, that slideshow homepage, or actually that's the homepage, yeah. Let me show that first. Because the Orchard homepage is of course using the layouts thing. I should actually show this in Chrome because there's a bug with responsiveness in IE here. So this is a slideshow element. So we, we built a couple of things, one of them being the slideshow element, which is part of the media category here. We have a slideshow. This can be edited, and these slides are stored as part of this element. So they're, they aren't separate content items or anything like that. And it's very easy to create multiple slides. For example, if you just want a series of images, you could use the create image slides. Pick your images using the media library picker that we all love. Or loaf. And hit save. And what, what will happen now is every image will be, uh, for every image, a, sli uh, a slide will be created. And then you can go in and edit each thing and, 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 and do some more stuff. So, for example, add text or pick some sort of uh, template and then finish your slide like that. Example like that. So that, that's the uh, slideshow element. Uh, oh, and you can choose, of course, the player, or we call it the engine. We we discussed the name. Maybe we will change it to player. Um, but we currently support Bootstrap and jQuery out of box. Uh, and each, uh, each engine has its own set of settings. And this, of course, is extensible. So that's um, that's the slideshow element. And of course, we, we have a slideshow uh, Content type, which consists of which has the slideshow part, and and basically this is the same. This actually I should show the existing one here. This has a few slides. Uh, it's same principle as these the slideshow element, and of course you can drag and drop the uh, slides, so you can change the order in that way. Uh, and of course we have the widget, the slideshow widget, which looks looks the same as this screen here um yeah basically that's i think that's oh we oh yeah we can overwrite these slideshow settings on a per slideshow content item level so if you you can set up some defaults on the content type and then overwrite it per slideshow as you see fit and i think that's it we are very excited about it we think it's it's very easy to use. Um, we like that it's extensible, so you, you're not tied to a single player. So slide is a grid. Slide is a layout, really. So okay, like so yes, that's right. This is why every time it's sliding, you see two images. Yeah, this is. Oh, I think what is this? This is a content item. Edit slide. This is the wrong example. This is a better example. But this is just uh, just the layout. So yeah, this is a, this is a, this entire thing is a slide, and that's very powerful because you can now add any sort of element to it, like content items itself, um, well any element obviously, and 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 currently there's a single source for the slideshow called these slides. Uh, we also plan on uh, having a, some, uh, a plugin where you can choose a projection query. So you can uh, simply select a query, and then all of its content items will be rendered as slides. So what is a slide? It's just a content slide type with, uh, con with a layout? Not no, actually, not even. It's, it's really just a POCO. And, and it's all stored in the info set. This entire thing here is stored in the info set of this um, content item. And it's serialized using JSON. Um, but that's a slide. A slide, it's really the only thing it has is layout data, which is a serialized string of a layout. 
and then there's multiple instances of a slide. So uh, slide is not a content area. type. Okay. No, no. So it has a custom driver and everything. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's this actually slides part or slideshow part. That's and important. how do you show the thumbnail of the slide here? So that I stole from Bertrand because Bertrand they work on the um, one-stop slideshows module, and he figured out some JavaScript and some clever CSS or and clever JavaScript that I simply took and it worked. Thank you for that, Bertrand. So it's actually rendering from the admin or something like this. Uh, yeah. So this is actually these are these are full slides. These layouts are being rendered and then scaled back to yeah. fit inside of each box. So it's, so it's, it's not. Actual it's not an image. No, no, it's it's real. It's uh, I can't. It's not selectable. But these are this is actual actual uh, markup. These aren't generated server sites. Okay. Can you go back to your first step when you you added a slide? I think there were multiple pop-ups popping up. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So when you want to add a slide, add slides. Okay, and stop. Yeah. Okay, add slides. Create yeah, you can slide. choose to create an individual slide. So you can, you, you know, it's choose always, a yeah, template. Here is always a new slide. A slide is not a content item again. No, no, it's not. So, th so this is just a custom controller called Slide Factory. And then I browse the, well, these are like slide factories. Really. So if you want to change a, okay. So if you want to change a slide, it's fine because it's in the state of the page. So you can draft it. Exactly. Yep. And that's that's a good point that you raised because every change you make, it's um, it's it's will be saved as a draft. So you you you're not you, there's no concern changing a slide and then it becomes published. And, and these these actions that you see here, they're just uh, automated like shortcuts to to automate the work of adding all of these things as slides. So what what each of these links does is create layouts based on these items that you can pick. So you showed images, and you can also do like a bunch of pages, and th those are converted into layouts and stored as slides. Yeah. For this, we just picked a single content item, and this content item will be turned into a slide. You can optionally choose a um, display mode, for example, summary. And now this guy here is created. And actually, what it, what it was created is just a, a layout with a content item element pointing to the home page. And that's cool because now, actually, if you if we publish this and we go to there, view this. So now the home page, it's it's just a slide. You see, it just slid to the next slide. Okay, slide three is a content item. Okay, the slide three is, yeah, is, is a UI and an okay, element. Correct. Yeah, it, it can be. So this is a content item, but as I shown, uh, just showed, it's also uh, there's also an element, so you can use and a widget. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So okay. which here? Yeah, that's the. That's the. What's the movie with DiCaprio when he's in a dream, in a dream? Oh, uh, Inception. I know which one. Inception, yeah. Inception, that's it? Yeah, that's, I, I, that's so the, the one with layouts. It's, it's a layout. In, it's a layout, but you can use it in a layout. Yeah, yeah. And there's, uh, there's uh, some code that protects you against this infinite, infinite um, thing where you have a slideshow and then you add it uh, on the same slideshow. Uh, that's that you're protected from that, so that won't happen. But you can create some complex uh, layouts this way. You can have nested slideshows potentially. So the chat is going on. Oh, the chat bar is very not useful, not helpful here. Can't put a slideshow in the slide. Uh, Bertrand is uh, disappointed. He's disappointed. Hmm. 
that you can't you, put a slide in the slide. In the but you, you, you can do that, right? You just can't create a circular dependency. That's oh. it. Yeah. You can do a slideshow and a slideshow. So if the first slideshow is slow enough and the inner one is fast, you can see yeah. it sliding. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so can you then go back to the screen where you could... So, uh, comments, this is beautiful, and in the layout it's very nice integrated, you, but you know that. Um, I was confused when the pop-up appeared, first these three types of slides. It's like you are redoing some stuff from Orchard, but not the Orchard way. Mm. If you see what I mean, because the pop-ups, no, pop-ups, we started that with the media. Well, actually, that's not true, because, of course, the layout is a different story, but if you just take the slideshow content item here... This, this is want... fine. I see it's... Uh, so you're this is, really this, this I'm fine with. Yeah, the way there was a pop-ups, and then there was the, the three actions, create image slides, so I'm trying to get... So here, don't, don't move. Don't move. So you were in a layout element, in the slideshow element. Yes, Then exactly. say, it did a slideshow. Okay, so this is the editor for the slideshow. So you see all the slides. Okay, exactly. wait, 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 don't click. Wait, wait, this is the slides. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm a new user. I would like to know that this... I know, am I stupid when I say if there should be a text, these are your slides, blah, 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 I don't know. Okay, but mm -hmm. I know... Well, that's this what is, this tab is for, but if yeah, you think... Um, in, this is the slides and the slideshow and the properties is the engine. Okay, so slides, you can move them and add slides. So if you click add slides, this is where... So you click on choose, stuff, and yeah, you can you create... Can, okay. So it should be yeah. add slide. Then you create slide create slide, create image slide, create content slides. Um, and it all boils down to so slides here. Uh, what I... Faster. Stupid, stupid comment here. Um, I understand it's dynamic based on the types of slides you have, so I, I, I can understand that it's extensible. I can create different kinds of slides. What's no, the difference between a slide... At this point. So you actually don't create different types of slides. These different providers you see on this screen, they're just um, you know different factories to create the same thing, but from different sources. Okay, so what's different between a slide and an image slide or content slide? There's no, dif there's no difference. There, it's just when you create image slides, you, you create it by picking a bunch of images, and then it, it, it generates the slides yeah, it's containing really those images. Okay. Yes, exactly. It yeah, automates this manual step here where you create a single slide, and now you have to drag a image here. And instead of having to do this multiple times, you just pick a bunch of images, and Orchard does this for you, or the module does that for you. Okay. Do save. Select an image, okay. But I could, okay, I, wait, I clicked, you clicked create, so if you click create image slide, you mm -hmm. could still add a title, actually. Yeah, absolutely, but not at this point. So you choose, first you choose, start choosing uh, mm -hmm. your images. So I create, so at this point I say, okay, from these images I want to create three slides. One image will become, a, each image will become a single slide, so I hit save. Or maybe that button should be renamed generate, and these images, our slides, you see. And now so, I can go ahead wait. and add a title. Okay, go back. Why do we need another pop-up when you click add slide? Why don't we have the buttons here, like add image slide, add content slide, add whatever slide, or a drop-down oh. button? Yeah, we could do that. I, I thought it would be nice to have a single button so that, you know, I want to add slides, and then you choose. It's like a wizard. Then you choose, well, okay, but you how have do no you choice. want to create it? That's, I what? know. Well, this, these are your options here. So we could bring yeah, this to the experience. You will have to select them, so why not select them in the first place and they don't take that much space because you, have, you just have slides here. Okay, that will just simplify, I think, the, the flow. Somebody, say, somebody suggested in the chat, uh, Kagan or, or Keegan, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but was to rename it to create slides from images instead of create image slides to kind of, you know, yeah. be, oh, be more clear. Suggestion. Yeah, create yeah. slides from images and create slides from or, content items. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Or from the previous screen, directly add, you can add a slide, add image, add content, because you're in yeah. your slides. Yeah, so, so this would be brought, moved to this screen here, so you can pick it instantly. 
You could say yes, add content, add whatever. Like we do on the actually navigation, like you do also on the layout on the right, you could have the list of things you can add. I don't know. You will Maybe you will prevent, you will prevent one more screen. Yeah. Okay, so and then okay, go back, sorry. So these are my slides. I can see them. This is beautiful. Uh engine tab. Okay, so, so you support. choose how you want to present your slides using with player. Okay. So by default, it's jQuery. So that's what we ship with out of the box. Bootstrap works, but you will have to enable a Bootstrap powered theme because we didn't want to include the Bootstrap uh, scripts. So, so that's that's a conscious decision. It's weird. Um, I understand that when you do slides, you have to select your engine because there are multiple engines, and you don't want to do one module per engine. Yeah, exactly. Um, I so these settings are per slideshow, so that's that's interesting. Um, and you have default per slideshow okay, so. per type. So in this in the, in the case of the element, there's no way to specify it globally unless we make it a site setting. But on the content mm -hmm. type level, you can uh, configure this per content type. So you could create multiple uh, slideshow types if you wanted to. For example, a specific bootstrap slideshow and a jQuery slideshow, and you would configure its content type, and then all of its items would use that player. Yes, so Kigan's command is, can we hide it? I'm afraid also that, you know, when we try to separate the behavior from the content, here the editors could define the behavior and could change the, well, could, could define the content, but also change the behavior. And sometimes we don't want to do that. Maybe you already have the permission for that. It's just about having a permission to let to not let people change that. I don't know oh, if yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's no permission. For there, that if there are some settings, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So that not content authors they shouldn't probably be able to change the engine if the so, site owner doesn't. I want think that. it would make more sense if this was configured on the settings level because yes, and, and and even better profiles, profiles. kind of slash. So yes, slash should like settings. Type setting sets, so you oh. could have no oh, because like when you're on a website, okay, I can uh, the editor can add slideshows, but you might want to provide him a set of validated, approved yeah, exactly. designed slideshows. Yeah, instead of choosing engine, he would choose a profile, and yes. that would yes, yes, because that the guy would be... like, oh, mm -hmm. imagine an editor goes and say, I d he doesn't know even what Bootstrap is, what J Carousel is, what the option does. They will play with that. They will break things. I don't know. Mm, we, should, we should separate the choice of engine from the configuration settings, I think. So the, the engine you should choose on the site level. And then the mm -hmm. settings, like show controls and show indicators, that should be mm -hmm. maybe on the slide level. If, yeah, if, the, if the engines can all support that. Yeah. Yeah, which, well, and they can't, but, but we, we could show it depending on which engine is selected. Yes, but if in the settings you define a profile, like default slideshow or like banner slideshow, homepage slideshow, whatever, and you yeah. define everything, you as the developer, what it will do and what engine, and then the user goes to slide and can have it as a drop down profile. to select which setting, which set of setting, mm -hmm. and can change that. And if he's an advanced user, yes, giving the permission to change the settings, but not from this editor, from the content editor. Mm. It's like yeah, you are in. It's like when you are creating a page, and from there you could define what's the summary or the detail or the list, and that's a different job. Yeah. The interval maybe you would want to be able to specify on the slideshow level, because it I, might I, depend I, on the type of content that you yeah, chose. I could understand. Uh, you could also say, let's do it now. I, I get it, but for me, it's like the users versus role. I just want the permission for a user. Yeah, but actually, you want a role, and I assign the role, the user to the role. Uh, you know, this is this kind of same of mismatch uh, between the set and the, the particular element. Um, I think in the majority of cases, the user doesn't want to change the interval. And if, if, if that's the case, then one would simply create multiple profiles. You don't need that yeah. many profiles. Even even if you have ten slideshows, let's say, will you have ten settings? Probably no, not. rarely. Uh, so that's why maybe it will be easier. The same code, but somewhere else. 
Mm. And, and with saved settings, and that will be. And this way, you just you just have slides, and on the slides, you can have the drop down with the. Yeah, then we would have the setting. So we would and on the right hand side have the the yep. slides factory buttons and yep. the profiles and the drop down list. Yep. And uh, what would be ideal here would be to have a, a preview of what it looks like. So you could have a you could preview. So you have a pop up. So for each profile, you could see what it looks like. Oh, oh, that's not. It should be easy, I think. No. Yeah, it should be because we uh, we know how to render it on the front end. The back end is no different. Yeah. Yeah. But that's cool. Yeah. That's a cool sliding module. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks nice. for the suggestions. <laughs> Um, I'm sure uh, George will like it too. Because it's integrated in the layout. Good. 112. Done. 112. Lots of things. Um, okay. Anything else? I have a quick question. Uh, so it. It seems to me there was there's no when you create a draft of a content item and there is no way to delete that draft. So I want to sure. add it. Or or is there already? I think you can delete a draft. I couldn't find a way. You, okay, I, could, I could only I could only go forward and publish it and then I could unpublish but I can't delete the damn draft. Okay. But, but I so I want <laughs> So is it okay with everyone to add a, such an action in the content management UI? Because then I'll add it. I think so. Maybe the code is here; it's just not triggered, not linked anywhere. Mm. Okay. I think it, th there's an action for it probably, but it, there's. And not you just it. show it for drafts because the published have unpublished, and you can. But at the same time, wait. When you delete a draft, you delete just the current draft, so it goes back. Okay, that's fine. You can delete a draft. It doesn't change the previous versions of the content item. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, did I miss anything from the chat? Oh, this chat is bad. Yeah, there's too much noise with people muted and unmuted, connected. Okay. Yeah, you have to answer the questions. Jay wants to know if you can extend the engines. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Um, can they be features? Can what? Modules. Modules. I assume so. I didn't. I didn't get that question. Can Can the extensions for the engines can be um, modules? Oh, from uh, uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, simply implement some interface and uh, yeah, it just depend on the module, but that's fine. Uh, okay, that's good. That's great. This the module will be awesome. I want to see projections. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, it's on the list. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Uh, see you on Thursday. We'll start again with Uber Conference next week and take some decisions after. Sounds good. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.